Welcome everyone. We have three new event updates just of now. So this was just given on the Asian service with three different updates on the new banners with different units and also on the weapon banner that is going to be coming as well with new weapons. And lastly, on the trial rounds of the characters. So let's look at the first one. What we're looking at is we're going to see Cleave on the first banner. Yes, I pronounced it right, guys. Not kill. <laughs> so we're also going to see three other four stars that will be also very relevant as we go into the banners. We're going to have Xinqiu. We're going to have Noel. We're going to have Circles. So there is going to be one Hydro, one Geo, and one Amino. I think previously we saw Shaolin on the banner, but they took that away. So one Pyro, one Hydro, one Geo, and one Amino. Why is it important to go on to the four star characters? I'll go in more details within the guide. It's because as you go for the kill banner, it's likely you get some of those four star characters because there is a huge boost. <laughs> They're using the name for a huge drop rate for a kill and also a huge drop rate boost for the other four characters. Likely you will at least get two to three duplicates if you're going for a lot of the banner runs. Now the details for this banner is that it's going to start within a few hours after the post of this video on the 20th of October on the 9 o'clock p.m. And this is the time of my system. So right now it's about 4 or 5 p.m. for me. So within about 4 to 5 hours, I will have the banners changed for me. And keep in mind, this is my system scam with the local Australia time. And the banner will end in about 20 days, so on the 9th of November. In two more days after when the banner ends, the new patch 1.1 will come in. Keep that in mind. Now at the same time, when the venti banner ends, the weapon banner will also end at the same time. What we're going to look at is we're also going to look at the new weapons that will be available in the game. We're also going to the stats in detail. So let's look at the weapons first. We're going to have the Lost Prayer, which is the book over here, and also the Wolf Scrapestone. Very, very powerful claymore actually. And also a few of the four star weapons over here. So those weapons are going to have the same duration as the Klee banner from the 20th of October to the 9th of November. And you can see the weapon boost rates. And again, they are saying the huge boost, but what's likely going to be is going to be the same as before, 50% additional rate for those limited banner weapons. We're going to have a look at the five star weapon with the Claymore with Wolf Spin first. So the attack is quite high with 46%. The secondary is attack again, so very fixated on higher attack, which scales with everything. Now the bonuses will gain 20% up to 40% on hit on the enemy. And after hitting the enemy, we also increase the entire party member, guys. Keep that in mind, it's everyone. So if we're hitting someone that's about to die, less than 30% HP, the entire party member's damage or attack will be increased by 40% for 12 seconds. Although it can only occur every 30 seconds, it is still a massive boost. If you're using a support character like Noel, if you're using someone like you know Razor, Bidu, someone who's a support Claymore character, maybe Shuin, this can be still very powerful because of the side effect. And after that, if you're using on someone like you know the higher, stronger DPS character like the Luke, this can also be very powerful for the fact everything scales with attack. So overall, this weapon is very powerful. There is definitely going to be a lot of people who may be considering going for a weapon. What I remind you guys is, keep in mind, the clip banner and the weapon banner is right before the 1.1 update. So keep that in mind as you go deeper with the banners. Next up, we have the Lost Prayers of the Secret Wind. This is the 5 star item that will be specialized or the limited banner item that will be highlighted in the new weapon banner. So what we're looking at is going to be 44 base attack, which is slightly lower than the Skyward Alas, which is a very powerful weapon. And you're getting critical rate over attack. I always go with critical rate or critical damage if we can. So this is actually the better secondary. And the special bonus is you always gain 10% movement speed, which is just great if you're moving around. And when in battle, so when the battle engage with the special music, you're going to have the 6 to 14% elemental damage bonus for every 4 seconds. So if you are fighting for about 16 seconds in a fight, you're looking at a 24% damage increase with elemental damage. It doesn't say which element, so if you have characters that does multiple instance of elemental damage with different elements, this can work. And if you have a character that buffs your character for elemental damage, it can also work. For example, Churin's E ability enable you to do Quire damage, but my characters don't have Quire boost. So this item could help with that, but keep in mind Churin is also only buffing melee units, so he doesn't buff the Catalyst. So that was like a silly, silly example. <laughs> so 
Regardless, this is still a very powerful item if you're going for elemental damage. And we can also combine with artifacts. If we come to our artifact tier list, which we do have a video on this, if you guys want to have a look. So if you go with the choir, if you go with pile, so there's a lot of the electro, you know, there's a lot of artifacts that uses the elemental damage, but it's fixated on one element. This artifact, this weapon also gives you a boost to elemental damage, which is for all the elements. And finally, we have the event for the test run of the characters. This will be including Klee, Sakros, and Sinku. So you'll be trying those units out and you'll be getting special items. So the special rewards for trying those each of the characters are 20 primal gems, adventure experience, and also enhancement materials. This is very similar to the current test trial event. So if you haven't tried it, come over here. So what you do is you can press F9 over here and then come to the test run. Make sure you try it and grab all the rewards because you will be expiring in a few hours. So with Venti here, 20 gems. With Barbara, 6 experience. With the Vessel, 3 of the enhancement material. It's quite easy to achieve what they want us to try. So, you know, you're here to try the skills. Make sure you rotate between characters with spells and you shouldn't have a problem with this. And if you have seen our previous video about the logging event, it is confirmed on Asian server there is a logging event. So if you log into the game, go into press F5 with the PC version or the L1 button with PS4, log into the game and you'll be rewarded with the following items. First day with experience, weapon experience. So the third day is the Primal Gems and also the seventh day is more Primal Gems. It is 300 Primal Gems and likely to get us close to two of the rows in the game. So if you're short on Primal Gems, keep this event in mind. Now as we're super excited for the Klee banner and the units it's going to bring, I still want to remind you guys on the previous video we just posted. So talk about how the roles interact and what you're looking at with your probability. I also talk about kill skills, I talk about her synergies, and I also talk about the F to play. So free to play, low spending players approach of getting a 5 star item and how we should think about the game. It's very important we look at that before we go into the banners, otherwise we might be disappointed that the rates might be too low or we'll just not be prepared. To summarize this video, so the new events are going to be the Klee banner swap with the 4 star characters as Shinku, Noel, which is very nice for the additional Noel, Sakura's over here for Amino. We also have the weapon banner swap event. The weapons that's available for 5 stars are Catalyst weapon for the Majors and also a Claymore for the two hand sword user. Lastly, don't forget to try the units guys, don't forget to try them before you go into the Klee banner. Because you might not like her, you might not like her attack style. Maybe it's too short for you, maybe it's too slow. So try her out, try her skill kit out. You can try multiple times before you go and spend your hard save currencies into the banner. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.